Amen. The lady who was running against us. There is a battle going on in this country. She tried to say it. I'm not referring to the conflict in Iraq and the war in Afghanistan. I'm talking about a battle for our very freedoms. For the way that we want to live our lives. For the way that we want to run our businesses. And will the federal government leave us alone and let us worship the Almighty to the dictates of our own conscience? That's why we need good people to come to conventions. That's why we need good people to run for office. That's why good people that run for office need good folks to help them win. We need to do this, and I think what will save this country is conservative populism. Knocking on those doors. I cannot tell you how many times in the last, which should have been six and turned into nine months, when I I have half on another state rep. You know what? I've lived here 14 years and no one's ever done that line. I don't want to ever hear that again. City councilmen, uh, get folks, men and women that are on ISDs, you know, run candidates. Everyone needs to knock on doors if you can. We need to get out there and, and do this because why is California? Why did they receive any new congressional seats in 10 years? They have 75 degree weather every day. It's not a bad deal. But we got four new ones. And it certainly wasn't because of our majestic mountain distance. <laughs> or our uh, world famous beaches are our refreshingly cool August afternoon. It was because there's more economic opportunity here. And as a result, there's more freedom here. So we have a very unique opportunity. And we always tend to hear this now in 2010. It was the most important election of our life. And now what do we say in 2012? It's the most important election of our lifetime. Uh, but, well, thank you. <laughs> thank you very much. God bless you, God bless Texas.